called Bases, and I uh, collaborated on on designing a bass a few years ago called the Malarkey, which I have here. And um, basically, it's a short scale bass with you know a pair of pickups in with quite interesting placement and makes some pretty cool sounds and looks stunning as well, right? But uh, Viv makes a few other different basses. Um, this is one of them, the Bisonic, and I've got my hands on this one. It's a beauty. It's in a sort of uh, slightly, dare I say, Gibson, Gibson-esque cherry red. got this one bisonic pickup um, so you would imagine that it was really limited in 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 its tonal capabilities um, but actually I've found that there's a lot of different sounds you can get out of it um, so I've been enjoying playing it on jazz gigs and uh, recording and getting some interesting tones out of it I actually just put some flat ones on here <clears throat> I thought oh, I was going to prefer the rounds on, but actually I have come round to the flats. And uh, full disclosure, I ended up, I think I broke my E string. I kind of snipped it and something weird happened and it just went really dead. So I've got some uh, pyramid flat wounds, short scale flat wounds on these three strings. And this one is a labella. It doesn't sound too different, but kind of interesting <laughs> to hear the difference but um don't judge the bass if you think the um e string sounds a little different but anyway i think it's fine i, w I would never notice uh it's great it's a cool little thing it's got um such a unique quality you know um one of the features of this bass is that you can introduce a coil tap I'm uh, pulling the tone pot. Um, actually, I think on the, on this instance, the up position is the full bisonic pickup, and when it's in, it's the tapped position, which they call the dark star, dark star sound. Um, and I must say, this is the one I use because it has a little little bit more clarity. I've been tending to use that sound. The whole uh, performance I did was with the tapped pickup. So just so you hear the difference. A lot more low end. I mean, if you're looking for, you know, if you play <laughs> dub reggae, this might be the perfect bass for you because enormous amount of bottom end. compared to the rest of the frequencies you know <clears throat> uh, and it does when you when you pull that it does give it an extra little push in the low mids i think i think i prefer to have that in on the tapped setting for a more even frequency range and then i can eq it to to bring out whatever i want um, and I was speaking about getting some different tones out of it. And really the way that I found to do that was just by playing, like attacking the string in a different place. So uh, if you play right near the bridge, you get uh, that kind of really uh, throaty, hollow sound. Which I love, actually. And then as you move up here, Um, you, 
could, you know, play in between and you could really dig in and get a kind of... tone pot I tend to just leave it 7 out of 10 the, all the way up you just have this uh, quite an interesting bright sound so I guess the pick will really bring that out but I think that just needs uh, cooling off a little bit Actually, with the tone all the way off, I quite like this. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of different sounds you can get out of this. Surprising, really, for a one pickup short scale bass. You know, you'd think it'd be quite restrictive, but uh, not at all. Um, I mean, I will say it's very suited to certain styles. So again, I, I was saying I'd use it in a jazzy setting and where there's a lot of space in the music, you get to enjoy all the sort of tonal qualities of the instrument. But to really cut through might not be might not be the perfect choice. You know, you might want something with a bit more uh, with a bridge pickup or something. But um, definitely a cool one to have in the rack. and recording as well you know just experimenting getting some tones out of it <clears throat> you can definitely shape it to fit in a mix and make a really cool unique sound i think um it plays beautifully i've got to say this neck is probably my favorite neck of any bass i own it's uh it's quite slender um the finish is perfect feels really natural i guess there's a bit of treatment on there but uh, not enough to make it sticky. Pretty lightweight, but really nicely balanced when, when with a with a strap. Um, uh, and I just think it's great. I'm going to be using it a lot. It's really nice to just have in my uh, rack, <laughs> um, and it looks beautiful. So yeah, I recommend you go and try one out. Everything you've heard so far has just been a totally clean signal, by the way. Um, so what I'll do now is play you back some of those clips with an amp simulator on. I think this will work really well with the SVT, the UAD SVT amp sim with the 15-inch speaker. I quite like that combo, but just so you know what it'll sound like in a, in a sort of rehearsal room.